Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we've got new mid-range GPU specs and time frame. The GTX 1660 Ti is in the hands of its first user, an Intel Odyssey. So stay tuned. <laughs> So we've seen benchmarks, pricing, box art, and just about everything in between when it comes to the GTX 1660 Ti, but there's one thing we haven't seen, a user with an actual card. Well, minus the mistaken upload of the unboxing, but that's already been taken down. Brought to my attention by one of you, the Meld Militia, to which if you want to send me news, leaks, or rumors, email them to tip at GamerMeld.com, and it may be part of the next video. This card was posted to the NVIDIA subreddit, and apparently the user's friend from Australia got a 1660 Ti early. As you can see, it's not a bad looking card, and it's from Galax, one of the first to have the packaging leak. He supposedly paid 475 AUD, which converts to around $336 US. When it comes to performance, he understandably wasn't able to get any benchmarks, obviously from the lack of drivers, but the user was able to get a look from Ada64. And there's one interesting thing here. While it comes with the rumored 1536 CUDA cores, it also shows 192 Tensor cores. Now, if that's true, it at least makes a little sense and explains why they won't price it too much lower than the 2060. This could also mean the 1660 Ti will still be able to use NVIDIA's DLSS tech, though it's not exactly loved right now. Another way it makes sense would be for parity among the platform. RT cores are made for ray tracing, so taking the Tensor cores out with it would make it a completely different platform. That or it's simply a mistake in Ida64. Next up for today, it looks like the GTX 1650 will be launching very soon. According to video cards, they heard that the card is set to launch next month, though I will say that in the title it actually says confirmed. Now, usually when a report like this comes out with an unnamed source, I very much put it in rumor territory. And while this would still technically be a rumor, when video cards confirm something, it's usually spot on. What's odd is that we haven't seen much on the 1660 for a while, and I haven't heard anything at all on a GTX 1650 Ti. Of course, the 1660 is almost definitely happening, given it's hard to have a Ti variant without a non-Ti variant. But if a 1650 Ti doesn't make an appearance, I think it's pretty clear that the 1660 is meant to replace the 1050 Ti, and the 1660 Ti replaces the 1060. And performance-wise, that does make sense. When we look at video cards, they also list specs for the 1650 and 1660. This is mostly unconfirmed, but the main thing I want to focus on is that 1280 CUDA cores, which video cards seems pretty certain on though I'm not sure where they're getting it. Either way, the 1660 Ti has 20% more than the 1660, given this is correct. Basically, the 1660 may actually perform right around a 1060, making these even more so one of the weirdest naming schemes ever. Lastly for today, Intel may have just revealed the codename for their upcoming graphics cards, or it really is just a way to build hype around them. Either way, the company started an initiative called the Odyssey, where they're going to have events to supposedly listen to the community. Now, here's the thing. I partially think Intel is actually wanting feedback, especially given the poor reception of NVIDIA's most recent RTX GPUs. I'll also say that like PC Gamer, there's a chance the actual codename is Odyssey. Unfortunately, there's not much more we have to go by, but clearly Intel isn't playing around. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the GTX 1650? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.